So this is the statement by Dr. Chaim Gärtner from Yad Vashem, which I received during our panel on access to Jewish heritage, Jewish cultural heritage this morning. There are enough good reasons for demanding online open access to human knowledge, the need to share and to work jointly, the desire for free research, the wish to democratize knowledge, the ability to pro provide a better response to users' needs, and many more. In Yad Vashem, we think that this exposure is also a moral obligation. In the case of the Shoah, it is clear that the Nazis wanted not only to annihilate the Jews, but also the ability to remember them. Therefore, in order to know what we lost, we have to reconstruct this huge puzzle of missing building blocks. Moreover, what may appear to be unimportant to one person may prove to be highly significant to another human being, a relative, a researcher, or the public at large. We decided to redefine the goals of our archives. Our central obje objective today is accessibility. If the central objective is accessibility, then the order of priorities for investment of resources needs to be de determined by the needs of the public. Therefore, in Yat Vashem, we decided over a decade ago to gradually provide public access to all of our data and knowledge via the internet for free use. Certainly, the exposure of documentation is not always a moral obligation. At times, the opposite is true. Sometimes the concealment of information is the proper moral action. However, if we see ourselves as servants of the public, if we do believe that not only medical open data are relevant to life, but also history may be relevant to life, if we see anything sharing as a moral imperative, then we will find that in more cases then we are willing to admit freely opening access to information is imperative because of ethical and moral consideration. Moreover, those moral obligations are giving meaning to all of our acts. <laughs>